In this video, we will address why flood maps might need to be changed, the three most common procedures landowners may use for requesting changes to flood maps, and the documentation you may need to request a map change. These key terms and acronyms will be used during this presentation. You can find the terms and their definitions at the web address on screen. Flood insurance rate maps, or firms, may need to be changed for a variety of reasons. Most reasons for requesting a change to a firm stem from one of two causes, inaccuracies in the map, or physical changes made to the floodplain since the creation of the map. When a firm is developed, FEMA uses the most accurate flood hazard information available at that time. Even so, limitations in the scale or topographic definition of a source map can cause small areas of higher elevation to be mistakenly included in the special flood hazard area. Additionally, more detailed hydraulic or hydrologic data may become available after the creation of a firm. This information may change the calculation of the base flood elevation, which could then change the boundary of the special flood hazard area. Physical changes, such as filling, grading, or excavation, might be made to the floodplain after the creation of firms, such that a building site or larger area originally shown to be in the special flood hazard area now sits on ground that is above or below the base flood elevation. Changes may also result from the construction of roads, bridges, channel realignments, or other such projects that physically alter the hydraulic characteristics of the stream channel and floodplain. Publishing a revised firm panel is expensive. Consequently, FEMA typically will not reprint a map unless the changes affect a large area or multiple map panels. A more common method used for revising the firm is for FEMA to issue a letter that describes the map change. These letters are broadly referred to as Letters of Map Change, or LOMCs. There are several different types of letters of map change that are each used for a specific type of situation. Those most frequently used letters of map change are the Letter of Map Amendment, or LOMA, the Letter of Map Revision Based on Fill, or LOMER F, and the Letter of Map Revision, or LOMER. While flood insurance will be discussed in greater detail in later videos of this series, it is important to note that federally insured lenders are required to make the purchase of flood insurance a condition of any loans for structures that are located in the special flood hazard area. So, property owners with structures located in the special flood hazard area are often motivated to have that flood zone designation removed in order to avoid the cost of buying flood insurance. A letter of map amendment, or LOMA, can be used to remove a single parcel or building from the special flood hazard area. For buildings constructed before the publication of the first FEMA flood map that identified the structure as being in the special flood hazard area, the property owner must show that the lowest ground elevation where it touches the foundation on the outside of the building, what FEMA refers to as the lowest adjacent grade, is above the base flood elevation. For structures built after the site was first designated as a special flood hazard area, it must be shown that the lowest adjacent grade and the lowest floor, including basement, is above the base flood elevation. An entire lot or parcel can be removed from the special flood hazard area by a letter of map change if the lowest ground elevation within the boundaries of the property is at or above base flood elevation. The services of a licensed professional engineer or surveyor are required to collect the elevation information needed to request a LOMA. The letter of map revision based on fill, or LOMER F, is appropriate when a structure or property has been elevated above the base flood elevation as a result of the proper placement and compaction of fill. For buildings, it must be shown that the lowest adjacent grade and the lowest floor, including the basement, 
is at or above the base flood elevation. To remove an entire property that has been filled from the special flood hazard area by a LOMER F, it must be shown that the lowest ground elevation within the boundaries of the property and the lowest floor, including the basement of any building located on the property, are located at or above the base flood elevation. Additionally, as part of the LOMER F request, the community must sign a community acknowledgement form stating that the land and any proposed structures that will be constructed on it will be reasonably safe from flooding. It is important to note that FEMA will not approve the request for LOMER F if the property is located within the floodway. The last letter of map change we will discuss, letter of map revision, or LOMER, is less commonly used than the other two because it reflects changes to an effective firm that are based on revised hydraulic modeling or other analyses. A LOMER is normally issued after better data for hydraulic modeling becomes available, after changes have been made to flood control structures such as dams and levees, or after construction projects that alter the hydraulic characteristics of the stream channel and floodplain such as bridges, culverts, and channel realignment. A LOMER usually will not be focused on specific properties or structures, because the revisions associated with a LOMER will often result in changes to the mapped floodplains, floodways, and base flood elevations, FEMA includes an annotated map that documents those changes to those portions of the community's effective firm. The types of floodplain development projects that would require a LOMER are often costly and, once completed, difficult to modify if FEMA fails to approve the request for LOMER. For this reason, FEMA provides a process where the technical analysis and documentation for a project can be submitted for review before the project is constructed. If FEMA agrees that the information provided correctly reflects the anticipated effects of the proposed project on the mapped floodplain, base flood elevation and floodway, it will approve what is called a Conditional Letter of Map Revision, or CLOMER. The project can then be constructed as designed. In order to obtain the final LOMER, the applicant has six months from the completion of the project to provide FEMA with as-built plans showing that the finished project does not differ from the one originally approved by the CLOMER. Because it has the effect of changing the mapped floodplain, base flood elevation, and floodway shown on a community's effective firm, a request for LOMER or CLOMER must be signed by both a community official and the applicant. The documentation needed to apply for letters of map change is similar for each type. For most letters of map change, a landowner will need a FEMA application form. There are three different application forms. All are available on the FEMA website. The correct form for each letter of map change is shown on screen. Supporting material that verifies the ground elevations for the property. This is usually obtained either from existing documents or by hiring a licensed land surveyor or registered professional engineer. If the letter of map change involves a building that was constructed after the community's firm date, an elevation certificate might be available through the local floodplain manager, previous seller or builder, or filed with the property deed. Documentation that shows the surveyed location of the property, such as a copy of the plat map for the property or a copy of the deed in combination with a tax map or other suitable map. Finally, documentation that shows the location of the property on the effective firm, such as a photocopy of the relevant firm panel or a firmet created from the FEMA Map Service Center website. More information about firmets and how to create them is included in Video 12 in this series. Most requests for letters of map change are currently submitted manually using the previously listed forms. However, FEMA has also developed methods for submitting requests electronically. For example, the eLOMA is a method that licensed professional engineers and surveyors can use to electronically submit simple LOMA applications and receive an instant determination. And 
FEMA has also developed an online letter of map change application that allows individuals to submit various types of requests for letters of map change electronically, including Lomer F, Lomer, and Clomer. As was mentioned earlier, federally insured lenders must require the purchase of flood insurance as a condition of any loan for structures located in the special flood hazard area. Occasionally, the lender mistakenly determines that a structure is located within the special flood hazard area when the firm clearly shows that it is not. These types of problems are usually easy to correct. However, sometimes a lender will refuse to change its determination without a determination by FEMA that the structure is not in the special flood hazard area. A letter of map amendment, out as shown, or LOMA OAS, can be requested in situations where the entire structure is clearly shown on the effective firm as being outside of the special flood hazard area. The LOMA OAS is technically not a letter of map change because it does not actually revise the firm. It's simply used to make a determination as to whether a particular structure is located within the mapped special flood hazard area. However, a request for LOMA OAS is made using the same form used for the LOMA, the MTEZ. The difference is in the information that is required for the request. If the structure is clearly shown as being outside the mapped special flood hazard area, no survey information is required. Instead, the property owner submits information, including parcel maps and firmats, that document the location of the structure in relation to the special flood hazard area. Today, you have learned the variety of reasons that flood maps might need to be changed. You have also learned about the procedures FEMA has put in place to correct flood maps, known as letters of map change, and the documentation needed to apply for these letters. Mm -hmm.